Hi guys, it's Negan, and before I get all freaked out, I'm not going to be talking about oils this time. In this video, I'm going to be talking about makeup! Fun stuff. Not saying oils aren't fun. For a long time, I've been telling you guys, I'm going to make a video, I'm going to post videos, I'm going to be doing my makeup, I'm going to start a blog, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, and you guys haven't seen me post anything, and I'm so sorry. I really, really am. Um, I, that doesn't mean I have not been trying. I really have been. It's really hard to record yourself doing makeup and making a video that's like worth watching and really good quality. Um, I have recorded myself a few times on my webcam and I thought I liked it, but then like I go in to edit it and it's just, I don't know, I find like things wrong or things, I don't know. It, you can't really tell. You just can't see everything good. I've tried to record uh, myself doing makeup on my vanity. You know, I just uploaded the videos the other day. And like I said, when I went to go edit them, they just didn't turn out the way I thought they did. I was going to edit it and going to post it like a few nights ago. And I was so excited to like show you guys, but I'm so, so sorry. So to make it up to you guys, I am going to show you all my favorite makeup products that I use every day. It's in no particular order. I like I just put all my favorite makeup my favorite makeup product products um, at my desk. So I'm just gonna grab some and just roll with it. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's do this. Okay, so for the longest time I was like, I'm never gonna wear liquid foundation, liquid stuff that's bad for your face. La la la. I was naive. I was in Sephora and I've heard so many awesome things about Kat Von D's Locket Foundation. And a lot of the people in there were like, you don't need it. It's like full coverage. You know, like, yeah, it works really good, but you don't need it. Like, you have perfect skin and blah blah blah, which I thought was very sweet of them. But I got it anyway. So, yeah, this is her Locket lock lock Foundation. What shade am I? I don't know what number I am, but basically the lightest that it gets. I love this foundation so much. It covers everything. I would not recommend this if you haven't used liquid foundation before and you want more of a natural look. Because it is matte, it's not dewy. So it's going to give you that like sheer look, I guess. That, I don't know. The Kylie Jenner look. You know who Kylie Jenner is. It's going to be matte, and I love matte. Matte is my favorite. So that's why I love her foundation so much. Um, I do need to find a more dewy foundation because spring is in the air. Not really, but it's going to be soon. Yes, between her foundation and her concealer, you are going to be flawless. You're going to look like you're photoshopped. And when I say this concealer conceals, I put it on my wrist, and it almost got rid of my tattoo. Yeah, it almost hid that, like, it conceals. It's like no joke. Before I forget, Kat Von D's foundation looks the best when blended out with the Beauty Blender. And if you don't know what that is, it's this little sponge thing that you can get at Sephora. It's 20 bucks, and I know you're like 20 bucks for a sponge, but it's totally worth it. It's changed my life, especially when I do like my under eye. Like, I don't get any creases or anything like that. So it's definitely something to invest in. I'm sure you can find them cheaper online. I just get them at Sephora because it's just right there and it's convenient. I'm going to get this big palette out of the way to show you guys. So what most people do with their under eye concealer, they buy it a shade lighter than their foundation. So when they put it under their eyes, it brightens their eyes. Well, since I'm already really white, like white as a ghost, you know, they don't make it a shade lighter. Like I just, my concealer is the same color as my foundation. So I learned a trick about a few weeks ago. Don't judge me. This is like, I don't own a contour kit, like a really good one. I don't think I should invest money in one really because I am so pale and I just don't think I need all those like dark colors. Um, but I'll get back to that. Anyway, I got this contour kit at Urban Outfitters for like, no joke, $8. So what I do is, I take this white. Literally, it is white. You can't... 
going to fix this. Okay, that's a little better. I take this white. It is white. It's not like really light tan or skin, whatever. It's white. I will put that under my eye. So I will mix that and this color and the white together. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. It is really light, but up against my skin, it looks the same color as my foundation. This is by Unique Mineral Touch Press Powder. I'm not even going to try to say the name of it because it's crazy. But I'm sure it's the whitest that, that they like have because that's my life. Okay, so next is blush. And before you guys say anything, it is by Sephora. And there have been people who have told me that Sephora is not cruelty free. Even in the past six months, I have gone in there. They have told me that Sephora's brand has recently switched over to being cruelty free and is in the process of getting their brand to be 100% vegan, which I hope is true. Um, I believed them when they told me that their products are now cruelty free because I did buy this blush that I love. I use every day. One side is darker and then one side's a little bit lighter and I really just kind of mix both of them together. So I really hope it's cruelty free. Um, I asked the manager and she showed me like something on their website where it just stated Sephora is now cruelty free. I don't know. I'm not gonna buy any more products from them until like they're on PETA's website because until they're PETA approved, um, until any company's PETA approved, it, it can be sketchy and I should have known better. I did buy an eyeliner from Makeup Forever because I thought they were cruelty free. I didn't check before I bought it. I posted a picture of somebody said, oh, actually they are, and I immediately took it back. So I figured out if you put your webcam, like where you see yourself in the middle of your computer screen, you like kind of look like you're talking to everybody. Not compared to when I had it like down here and I was like, hey guys, how are you? Duh, Ashley. You... Okay, so I probably should have mentioned this first. This is face primer. You put on face primer before you put on anything else. Like, you know, if you want to put a moist mo moisturizer or anything, you know, put that on first. But then like before you apply your foundation, you can put on face primer and you can't see anything about it. <laughs> Why is it so white? I will figure this out. Yes, I am so smart. Yep, you can read it now. Mm -hmm. Face and eye primer by Unique. There's probably primers out there, face primers that are a lot better than this one. I just put this all over. I don't always put it on when, before I use my put on my foundation. But makeup people say it makes a difference to hold your makeup on better. I don't know. Maybe if I find like a better one, I'll notice a difference. Until then. So earlier how I said I haven't invested in a contour kit because I feel like all those shades are too dark for me. Instead, I use bronzer. I've asked several different makeup artists and they actually say bronzer is a lot easier on the skin. It's a lot more forgiving. This one's by Unique. You can buy whatever bronzer suits you. I like this one. Oh my god, Facebook. I will give you a little tutorial since you haven't had any. And this is one of my personal favorite brush by IT Cosmetics. I will take some, um, just like the bl blush I use, one side's a little bit darker than the other. So it doesn't really matter, I just kind of mix a little bit, tap the residue off. I don't know how good you'll see. My hair likes to join everybody. So let's see what that side looks compared to this side. Okay, you see? I mean, this side is obviously blended and this side you get like more of a defined edge. I also use this bronzer for eyeshadow. I'll put it in the creases if I don't feel like doing like a, I don't know, hardcore eyeshadow one day and I just want to do, but just like make my eyes, give my eyes a little bit more depth, I will put this in my crease. I love this brush. I love this bronzer. I will then use my favorite eyeshadow by Kat Von D. It's called Thunderstruck. I really don't need to bring it closer to the webcam because this is what it looks like for real. It's just, it's white, but it's just a really pretty shimmery color. I also use it as a highlighter because I like my highlight to pop. I like a lot of Becca's highlighters, but they aren't cruelty free, so I refuse to buy them. If you're looking to get like two for one, I would just buy Kat Von D's eyeshadow, Thunderstruck. It's my favorite. I've had it for like two months and I don't, I haven't even put a dent in it yet and I like 
when I say I like my highlighter, I like my highlighter, so I'm surprised this hasn't like halfway gone already. With any of her products, they last for a really long time. A little goes a long way with her stuff, which is cool. So since we're talking about Kat Von D, this is her eye primer. It's her only eye primer. Go to Sephora, go online. I love it. My only thing is it's not the best when you're wearing like a lighter shade of colors because it does go on yellow, which is kind of weird. But it's definitely awesome when I'm being a little bit more bold and using more darker colors. I've like cried and my eyeshadow didn't come off, so that was it's nice. It's waterproof. There you go. <laughs> Next is my new fave. It's not new. I've been using it for a couple months now. Kat Von D's Eyebrow Tattoo. It's shade light brown. It's my ultimate favorite for you guys who are a little bit blonder than I am. There is a shade lighter than this. I like it because I was going to draw on my hand to show you guys how it goes on. But it's like a felt tip, as you can see. So it goes on like you're drawing something. That's why I like it. I need to pick up Anastasia or Anastasia whatever her eyebrow is because I like that one too. Or Anastasia whatever is a little bit more expensive than Kat Von D. Next is mascara which is by Unique. Since I've gotten like so fond of false eyelashes I haven't really been too big into mascara. Of course I you need it to put on your real lashes to make to blend them with your fake lashes. So I'm sure there's better mascara out there. I just like this. Um, it does come with like fibers. If there's like another tube, you put mascara on and then you put the fibers on and then you put the mascara over that. I like it. It makes my eyelashes look long when I don't have false eyelashes on because I do have naturally long eyelash. Oh my! I'm talking so fast, I'm running out of breath. I mean, it's not a bad mascara. I like it. My mom likes it. She buys a lot of their products. So, like, sh she'll have, like, three extras and she'll be like, Ashley, do you need some mascara? And I'm like, sure, mom. So, this is what I use because she buys a lot of it. In case you want to see what the wand looks like, this is it. It's just basic. Okay, next is fun stuff. I'm going to show you some of my favorite lipsticks that I've been using this month. I'm going to start off with the one I'm wearing now that I literally just bought like a few hours ago at Walgreens. Wet and Wild Megastick? What is your name? Rico Mavi? Something like that? I don't know. If you just go to your drugstore, like, they have a whole row of these for like 99 cents in a bunch of different colors and I just thought it was pretty and I got it. So that's what I have on my lips right now. My next is this lipstick I got for Christmas from Kat Von D. The name is... Archangel. I like that name. That's really pretty. I love the like, packaging. It's, it's a really pretty red. It looks like it has like a little bit of orange in it. My hand is so white, you guys. I'm just so white. Archangel by Kat Von D. Next is this one. I've been getting a lot of compliments on, actually. This one is called... I want to say it's called Jeffrey. I got this for Christmas and it came with my eyeshadow palette along with eyeliner and the Archangel lipstick. I'm wearing this in my profile picture and a lot of people like it on me. This is actually a lip stain and not a lip gloss or a lipstick. It's a lip stain, which I really like her lip stains. They stay on and they're no joke. I'm going to try to swat this on my hand. So yeah, it's just like a really nice pinky color. It's definitely noticeable, but it's not like bam in your face. And last but not least, a cute baby pink that I love. I think everybody needs a baby pink in their lipstick collection because it just looks good on everybody and you can wear it all year round. This one is called Boutique, Boquite, I don't know, something. I think it's like their lightest baby pink one they have. It's um by Bite. Bite Beauty. I love that name. I don't know. My hands are so tiny. I can never do swatches. I will make this happen. It's a little bit lighter than... The Jeffree color by Kat Von D. It's more of like a really cute, smooth, baby pink color. Okay, we're almost done. I'm going to show you my two favorite palettes that I love. Like, I just love them. They are so universal. You can use them for every day, going out, staying in, going, running errands, whatever. They're, they are so neutral and just beautiful colors. My new fave is by Kat Von D. But oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Look at those colors. You don't need anything else in your life besides these colors. Just kidding, you do. 
This is such a good neutral palette, especially if you have brown eyes and want like more of a cooler look. These colors are extremely pigmented. They're gonna go on. Awesome. Yeah, if you're looking for a new palette, I definitely recommend this one. Last thing I'm gonna show you guys, this is my Smashbox palette. The back just says full exposure palette. So I will open it and show you. Oh my god, it's so dirty. It's not dirty, but this poor thing. But you can see why, like, there's every color you can imagine, and it comes with that brush. And there's even black. Oh, there's just every color you could possibly imagine in here, besides, like, the colors of the rainbow. You know, this is one of my all-time favorite palettes. I saw it the other day in Sephora, so I know they still carry it. So dirty. hope that makes you guys happy that I, like, went through the products that I use almost every day. Grabbed stuff that I definitely use like when I'm doing the bare mineral and stuff that I use sometimes when I'm going all out. So I don't know why I'm running out of breath. Like we need to give YouTubers so much more credit for being YouTube stars. Like I know I'm guilty for joking on them at some point in my life being like, oh yeah, that must be like so great being able just to be on YouTube and people give you money. No, it's not easy. It doesn't matter if you have the perfect vanity. It doesn't matter if you have a nice camera like I do. It doesn't matter if you have good lighting. It's still really hard and it takes a lot of work. It's hard talking to yourself on camera and pretending like somebody's there. Acting like you're exciting, acting like you're talking to somebody. Like it's hard, it's weird. It's different when you have something in front of you and you know you're gonna post it online for the whole world to see. Like that is constantly in the back of my mind when I'm in front of any kind of camera and I'm wanting to put it on social media for other people to see. Because you're putting yourself out there for the whole world to judge and that's not easy. Shout out to all the YouTubers out there. Anyway, I hope you guys- oh my god, why am I so white? Friday. I will definitely try to record again. So I apologize for keeping you guys waiting. Don't think I'm not trying. Don't think I forgot about it. Don't think I'm blowing it off because I, I am trying. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for giving me all the compliments that you give. It really means a lot to me and it keeps me motivated and it keeps me going. It keeps me staying inspired. I don't know what I'm going to record on Friday. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Now you heard about me, so let's be friends. Baby, you can have whatever you like. I wonder why I have no friends.